And what we've decided to do is the Chamber um, organises networking events um, for its members uh, between 150 and 200 throughout the course of the year. Very business orientated with networking involved. We thought there was a market there for some social networking as well where people are a bit more relaxed. Um, they can widen their social networks as well. And so we spoke to Steve. Sorry, so instead of us um, setting up our own programme of social events. Steve was already a member of the Chamber, so um, we got into discussions with him to see if we could actually um, work more closely with him because he's got a great product already and we could then offer that to our members. So this is a great opportunity for us to um, ta you know, network and meet with so perhaps some younger people as well who are um, employees and companies and that was the emphasis as well for us to get to the employees in our member companies. Sometimes people that come to our networking events are not the, um, the key decision makers. Um, they might be other people within their, their company as well and their employees that take decisions. Um, it can be someone in the finance team as well that takes the decision on membership whereas this way as well, if we're um, networking and sort of working with the employees, there's a good chance that um, we can retain our members as well and continue with making Greater Manchester Chamber the biggest chamber in the UK, which is what we want to do. Although you, you social networking here, if you meet somebody that next week you then suddenly think, well actually I met somebody at the social event, you would obviously, we would hope you would then give them a call and maybe then do business. That's really what the chamber's about as well. So it's just another way of doing that, but a bit more socially. But building people's social network as well for them, um, there could be people new to Manchester that don't know the social scene or even the business scene and this is a way of doing that and be, you know, increasing people's networking skills as well and their personal networks as well which is what business is basically about is who you know is exactly because we want groups of people from companies as well and when we've got a number of them here tonight where they've come out in force there's five or six of them all come out to network as well which is great and then we've got the um, people who've come on their own and they're in there networking because again it's a bit more relaxed it's not very structured where you're all sat round you know maybe having lunch or, or dinner or whatever um, and they're all in there networking and the exercises are great as well that we're doing in this so trying to find somebody in that room sort of breaks the ice and gets the barriers down. Well um, I mean at the chamber as well we've got um, within the actual group of our companies we've got over 1500 employees and you can never meet with all of them so there are um, social elements that do go on around our company as well and we know you're always looking for something different and to get people together and meet people you don't necessarily know in the company. Once you've met them you then do remember internally within you, in your company and um, who can offer a benefit to uh, you know another member company as well so we're certainly going to encourage our staff and we have done encourage the staff to actually join Steve's social circle as well and quite, there's a number of them come out this evening which is great and brought their friends again we can possibly introduce them to chamber membership they work for somebody within um, Manchester and that's who we're looking for